That started with my wife. My wife eats eggs every day and realized that instead of going to the store and buying eggs every day, um, let's just get the animals that make the eggs. The chicken coop is awesome. Um, it took me five weeks to, to build it. They follow each other in like packs and they just kind of like wander around the yard with no real intent. Um, so we wind up leaving our front gate open, like when we take the garbage out and it blows open, they will just in a little pack wander outside and wander down the street. So my, my kids have been said that they've been coming home from school one day on the bus and somebody on the bus will make a comment about like a pack of chickens being in the front yard and my kids are all embarrassed. Yeah, you know, then my wife and I are outside. You have to like literally herd them back into the, so you're kind of running behind them and making noise. Uh, one day last winter, we had like a, a ton of snow and I went out just to check on them. And they were all like huddled in this like little tiny corner and every, there was snow just everywhere inside. So my being a bleeding heart animal lover, I was like, okay, I have to clean, I have to get the snow out. But they were all there like pine shavings and they were soaking wet. So I was like, shoveling it all into like garbage bags to try to clean out their coop in the middle of a snowstorm. I was in like my work clothes and the coop is big enough that I was like, I had to, I was in the coop all the way. All like filthy and dirty with all these like clucking chickens and they were like pecking at my, my legs and my feet. Another time we had a point in like late March where it snowed like crazy and really, really fast. And the chickens were wandering around the yard it started snowing like crazy and they ran under my one of my sheds in my yard and they got so much snow that they couldn't get out. So I wound up like digging a little path all the way across our yard or chicken coop and it was for like four days they were like that was the only place they would go. They would like their little chicken highway they'd be going back and forth from their their house to back underneath the shed to get out of the, the cold and the wetness. And then there's, like there's videos of like here's a chicken pecking at a child's like xylophone like when they get bored. So we put one of them on the side of their coop. Chickens never used it. But I'm the idiot that's all like crunched over in their run. You know, the run is like four feet off the ground and I'm almost six feet tall. And so I'm in there all like crunched over, zip tying a xylophone to the, to the, you know, the chicken wire. Or they like mirrors. They like staring at themselves. So I'm in there in the winter tying like a little mirror in the corner of their coop so they have something to do. Take a um, frozen veggies and you put it in like a cake pan, fill it with water and you freeze it and you make a treat for them. You know, I'm like kind of baking for like my chicken. They didn't care about that either. The joke's on me. My kids tried to name them, but how do you tell them apart? Um, one of them suggested at some time like you could paint their nails. They're different colors and I was like, that would fall on me and I'm not doing that. Um, our chickens really live a good life. That they, they eat pizza and they love Cheetos and Pretty much any food in our house that's left over, we can just open, we have a deck on our second story. We can just open the deck door and just throw the stuff into the into the yard and they come running over and we'll eat it. They, they ate uh, cheesecake last week. They'll pretty much eat anything. 